before we get into the news, don't forget to like this video, subscribe, and hit the notification bell to stay up to date with our videos. Thank you. Our reporter Deb Murphy gave us the following information on the NOLA Standing Committee looking at runoff projects and urban water management plan. The Standing Committee, says Deb, is an interesting beast established by the long-term water agreement. Precipitation numbers were 48% of the average snowpack, only 58% of normal to date. LAPD's water engineer, Eric Tillmans, explained the numbers were similar to last year, but last year's saving grace was late season precipitation. The question is, will there be late season precipitation this year. Tillemans anticipates in the final runoff measurement will be in the lower range. Asked about the possibility of irrigation limits, he explained that two dry years in a row will require a two-year plan from his department and would allow for reductions, although there is no change in irrigation being proposed at this time. There was a discussion of the Black Rock waterfowl area a 1,500-acre parcel home to resident and migratory birds and part of the 1997 Memorandum of Understanding and 2004 Lower Owens River Environmental Impact Report. According to LADWP's Lori Dermody, the area is technically meeting its goal but could do better. The current plan calls for disking the tools and cattails then seasonal flooding and a dry out of 500 acres through the summer months and into the fall. A revised plan will be reviewed and come back to the standing committee in May with a goal of implementation this fall. Another problem mitigation project, McNally Ponds. The goal to improve the quality of the habitat has not been reached. Waterfowl have established the nearby gravel pits as their migratory resupply station. The committee was asked to consider abandoning McNally and consider Big Pine tribal lands to mitigate the pumping impacts in the area. The final item on the agenda was the Urban Water Management Plan, which called for a reduction of imported water to Los Angeles, specifically reduced to 30% of the city's use by 2034 to 2035. Los Angeles' water demand has dropped as its population has risen. That's good news for LADWP as it reduces the volume of imported water purchased through the Metropolitan Water District. Thank you for watching our video. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. And make sure to hit that notification bell so you know when we post a new story. Thank you and have a great day.